Well, about a year ago, my friend Jack Braviak and I came over here and we took some rocks down here so they could eventually put this wall in. Because the excavator had a dig, so we had to make it so he could get in there and get it out. I'm going to show you how we did it. Today we moved this small section of wall next to the next door property owner's wall. The excavator was very concerned that if he would start digging here on his own, he would accidentally pull uh, a section of the neighbor's uh, property and we don't want that to happen. So we pulled this out ourselves. And as you can see, excavator, when he gets in here today, he'll have no problem pulling the rest of this wall out. This is, this all fell down this wall. And this is the way it was. And I'm gonna put a VersaLock wall here because it's probably the cheapest and fastest. The guy's gotta dig this out, so he's afraid he's gonna go into the other one here. So we're just gonna loosen these up and move them. Hang on. Yep. All right, that should come right out now. That's perfect. Yeah. Yes. He's not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna bother. No. So today this wall has to come down. It's fallen over. The owner's putting a new wall in. But what happened was the wall connected up to the other owner's wall right here. So they were worried the excavator about knocking that wall over. So he had to take this wall down. So when the excavator comes, he could pull this all away without damaging that wall. Because you could see how this wall is all falling over by itself. So the idea was not to damage this wall, so we took it down. We didn't do any damage to this wall. We got it down, the excavator is going to pull it back, and that's it. <laughs> 